Well, welcome back to Overbury Farms. It's Friday the 23rd of March. A uh, really, really hot, sunny day today. It's kind of summing up the spring we've had. Uh, probably only about 20 mil so far this month, so it's following along the same kind of lines as last year. But it's, um, it's nice to get out and about, out of the office, and um, have a look at some of our pollen and nectar. This was planted last spring, and um, it's the sort of fairly standard mix, red clover, alsiki clover, which is the small white clover, birdsfoot trefoil, samphoin, things like that. And it's uh, last autumn we actually silaged it, got a few bales of silage from it, and it's come through the winter fairly well. And um, as the sun's starting just to appear, we're getting a few uh, bumblebees on here, which is nice. They're not actually feeding on the pollen and nectar mix, but some of these, uh, the smaller flowers uh, that are appearing between the, um, the, mainly the clover actually at the moment. So there's a, there's a bit of speedwell, there's some field pansy in here as well. Um, little bits of uh, this uh, an odd bit of mayweed um, and there was some chickweed as well that just had some little tiny flowers on nothing that's going to compete too much um, but nice as these queen bumblebees are just starting to come out of hibernation days like this they'll be looking to stock up with uh, with nectar as well as sort of looking for a home and here this is ideally placed we've got a sandy gravelly bank there that's the old field height along the top of there before this field was dug for sand and gravel um, and that would make an ideal kind of nesting over winter hibernation place for queen bee and then um, adjacent to this pollen nectar we've also got um, overwintered stubble followed by summer fallow so uh, about a week ago we just whipped over that with the Vardestat carrier just to create a bit of a spring seed bed um, and uh, we'll see what inhabits that as the season goes on been plenty of hair out there Lots of mayweed actually as well through the uh, through the autumn period, um, and uh, we're in sort of lapwing territory as well around here. So you never know; there could be could be some lapwings kind of sussing that out later on. We've got a few uh, corvids sitting over there in the tree in the distance, crows and rooks. That uh, they could be a potential predatory risk to lapwing. Um, we've had it before where lapwing chicks have been killed on the nest. Um, we'll get a few Larson traps out later on and try and thin those numbers down a little bit. But uh, yep, all looking quite good at the moment and uh, we'll probably top half of this in another month or so's time. We'll check it for nesting birds first. Um, seen a couple of little pairs of partridge down here. Only Frenchies, not grey legged ones. And um, we'll just walk it for to make sure there's no nests on here. Then we'll probably top half of it and that'll provide some pollen and nectar a bit later on in the season for the uh, for the bumblebees and uh, another little patch down there. <laughs> 